Hey people, what's up? It's Jamil. And so I'm at a really interesting point right now, man. I'm at a paradox where between me, this young woman, right, love my life, right? And I noticed, I know I noticed in the last couple of days, the only dynamic that's left for us to process through is open communication. Within the last couple of weeks, we went from not really showing any interest in doing anything to us making some sort of communication through the gang stalking program. And then I went, I went for the first time, I directly just started talking to her through the YouTube videos. I thought to myself, I said, well, if I'm talking to everybody else on YouTube, why not just talk to her? And as I started talking to her, I noticed a great change in her. I noticed that the videos really hit her, and it became far more challenging for her to do the gang stalking against me, but at the same time, her whole attitude changed. Every time I've seen her, her, her body language she looks like she's greatly more with me than she was before. Before, it was kind of like she did. She wouldn't want me to see her doing the gang stalking, or she would put her head down or something. And it looked like it was more out of shame, but now it looks like it's more out of compassion. And I, I, the only the only thing left is open communication. Everybody else has open communication. Her family has open communication with her. You know, whoever else comes in contact with her, the gang stalking program, whatever. Everybody has open communication. <laughs> Me and her have such a strong, deep connection, but all, I, all, all I've had up to this point was just, you know, us looking at each other and, and going off of that. And then I stepped out, I, st I took that step and just started putting YouTube videos, and I saw how that directly affected her. And then right now what's stopping the open communication is doubt. There's still unprocessed doubt. She has doubt on her end. And at first, I thought it was coming from the gang stalking program, or I thought it was coming from the family. In a sense, it is, but it's more of a doubt that's stemming out of fear. Okay? I remember I did that Treb interview. I did a Treb interview. I know uh, some of you know about Treb channeling. Treb. And Treb was saying that there was, there was, a, um, there was a, there had been a sadness, then there had been a fear that... She wouldn't be able to connect with me in the way she wanted to due to her family's perception of me and due to her family thinking I was talking bad about them. <laughs> okay, so that was back in the winter. I think at this point, the family doesn't look at me in a sense as me talking bad about them. Like, that's kind of, it's kind of obvious what happened with that situation. Um, that, that, that wasn't really, I think they realized it wasn't really what they thought it was. But, and then so, now the family's perception of me, now the family's perception of me has changed greatly. I don't know what their perception of me is right now, but I know it's, I know it's drastically different than what it was a few months ago. And so, at this point, whatever's there, keeping her from having open communication with me, it's doubt within the concept of fear. Like there's a fear, if I talk to Jamil openly, how will others view me? What will happen? How will that relate to me and my family? You know, um, you know, she's employed. You know, she's making <clears throat> she's making money doing this stuff, too. I mean, she's getting something out of it. So how will that change that dynamic? And me and her um, talking and having open communication. So this goes back, you know, we had met and we had talked a little bit a few years ago. So this goes back way before the gang stalking scenario. But right now we're in the gang stalking scenario. And for me, I erased all doubt. I said, well, I said, well, I'm, I, where I was coming from, I'm just like, look, look, this is what you really want. Okay. And so, then I put myself out there, and I said all those things, and I could tell I made her really happy, and I was like, thank God, man, that's all I want is for her to be happy, you know, I, I can't, it's, it's very uncomfortable to see her unhappy, and then at the same time, we, we don't have this open communication that we greatly need, if I was able to communicate with her openly, just for two, three minutes, it would, it would, that would be it, that would be, that would be the, that would be the turning point right there. Because everything else is so strong. Just me doing a YouTube video is strong enough to keep her from, from, from coming outside sometimes or doing other things. These people that are in the gang stalking program that they pair her up with, she's with them a lot. And she still won't even drive down the street and, and look at me with them in the car. So that shows how, and this was before I came on YouTube. This is before, this is back when I first came from Phoenix. So my influence over her is great, and her influence over me is great. We both, we both, we're both deeply connected, but there's no open communication. 
And that's stemming from, again, that's stemming from doubt, that's stemming from fear. And so at this point, since I've been er eradicating my fear, and I came out and I told her, you know, I'm like, I love you, blah, 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 blah. What that has done is that has greatly changed the dynamic because it's, 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 it's purged out and erased a certain level of doubt within me. And then it's made it obvious to others around her that, I, that I've erased my doubt about that, that, you know, but again, there's still no open communication. And so I know the people around her, or I can see that the people around her are feeling what she's feeling. They're feeling, they're feeling the love that, I, that I've embraced her with, but at the same time, there's a little bit of frustration there. She really doesn't want to, she, she, she really wants to come to me, but at the same time, she doesn't want the gang stalking program and her family and stuff are still um, working with her. And so they want her to do certain stuff, and a lot of times she just doesn't want to do it. I mean, the, mo the, the, the majority of the time, like the most I've seen is like her, like me standing right here, and then the street way down there, she'll drive by in a car like this. And then sometimes she won't even do that at all. Sometimes, sometimes she'll just completely refuse to do it. And so we have more belief, me and her have more belief, me and her have more belief in us being together. Because if she didn't have belief in, in what me and her shared, that wouldn't be going on. It wouldn't make sense. It's just been three or four months this has been going on with the gang stalking program. And she just don't want to do what they want her to do. And at the same time, she does just enough to get by. But everybody else has communication with her and I don't. So if I was able to have communication with her, all that would come to an end. And I think that's what her family is looking at. Her family's looking at it like, if Jamila has this much influence over our daughter already, and he's not even talking to her, and then he goes on YouTube and does a video, and then she just, and after the YouTube video, she just kind of flipped a little bit, you know, she's just like, damn, I can't do this. If I'm having, if me and her are that can deeply connected, if I had, I'm having that much great influence over her without us talking, what would happen if we actually talk, if, we're, if she just said, if she just said, okay, Okay, let's talk. And that's the first thing that happened uh, the first time I met her is she she was very nervous to, to come talk to me, but she said she, she said I'm gonna do it anyway, and she came and introduced herself to me. This scenario here is the same sort of scenario. There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of nervousness, but we're both different people. She's matured greatly as a person. I've matured greatly as a person. And we're both two different, like, it's not, like, the same, like, who I am now. I'm definitely not the same person I was last year. This time last summer, two different people. Two different people. Just pull up some of my YouTube videos from, from last summer, and you'll see, it's like you're listening to two different people. And so, as me, so me and her, we've been working the process. She's been working the process of, of coming closer towards me, and I've been working the process of coming closer towards her. And now we're at a point where there's nothing more, you know, like, I wanna, I, I've been communicate, communicating my love through, her, <laughs> through, through YouTube, that's all, that's all I had. And then she, the thing she does, orchestrations with the gang stalking program and stuff, so we're just slowly merging, slowly merging, slowly merging, slowly merging, slowly merging, slowly merging to come together. And there has to be open communication. That's all that's left. And so whatever fear or doubt she has, I see, I see she's been slowly erasing it. I, when I saw her about two days ago, I saw her, I saw her, I didn't see her up close, but I saw her more up close, she was in the car. And I saw on her that she had a lot less doubt. Like, she had, she had more, it went from a thing where it was like, before it was like, there was like just a great crush against me. And then now it's just like, she really wants to be with me, and there's, she has more belief in that and less doubt in her not being with me. And so now we're at like a tipping point. Now we're at a tipping point where something has to happen. She, she has to be able to, she has to be able to either like call me on the phone or stop and talk to me. Or, I don't know, maybe she'll just go against what everybody wants. Maybe she'll just, maybe just, she'll just say I'm a grown woman and you know, I just want to speak openly. And so I want to speak my heart openly. 
And so she might do that. And so I don't see the thing about it is, is it's more, it's more, it's more of a belief of her having belief in her own voice, in her own heart. If she's saying that this is where my heart is and I want to say, I want to be able to communicate, I want to be able to communicate to Jamil how I feel. I want to be able to communicate my heart to Jamil. So I'm going to stop and speak to him for a few minutes and communicate that message to him. And then we're talking, we're having a dialogue. I don't believe the gang stalking program is stronger than that. And I don't believe her family's perception of me is stronger than that. Now, two months ago, three months ago, it might have been that her family's perception of me was strong enough to keep her from doing that. But I've noticed in the last two, three months, it's almost like it's a, the majority of the family. I mean, even the father, even the father kind of looks at me like, you know, whatever. You know, I, you know, like if the gang stalking program wasn't circulated, I don't think he would really care. I don't think he would really care. I think he would just be like, you know, whatever, man. If you want to talk to her, you know, that's the, I'm not putting words in his mouth, but that's, kind, that's the kind of impression I've got. I don't think he, he's, he's nearly as strongly against it as he was before. And the mother just kind of like, energy I picked up from the mother, she just kind of like, you know, on, on either side of the fence, like, so it, it's, it's come, it's, it's more come down to like, what do, what does she want more? And then what she wants more is going to be based off of what I want more. Cause she's going to, she's going to see what I'm doing. She's going to reflect back to me what I'm doing. I'm going to reflect back to her what she's doing. And it's, it's all, it all boils down to doubt. How, how much doubt? And see, now the gang stalking program, what they like to do is they like to create doubt. The gang stalking program tries to orchestrate stuff to make me have doubt of, of me and her. And then once I have, their, their, their hope is if I have doubt, then I'll project that doubt back to her. And then she'll grab onto that doubt and project that doubt back to me and back and forth. I no longer have doubt. Now I have just, now I just have strong belief because the little things that I do have more effect on her than the people who are around her 24-7. Her father's around her 24-7. Her mother's around her 24-7. The people that she gang stalks with, they're around her, they're around her, you know, I don't know if they're around her 24-7, but they're around her a lot. They, they, they all work at this, they all do the same stuff. So if I'm able to do these little bitty things and be able to influence her greater than the people who spend the majority of the time around her, how how much influence how much influence would I have if I'm able to share my love, com communicate that with her, talk to her? We were we're able to talk for ten or fifteen minutes. See my point? It so for the manifestation of us being together and being able to openly communicate and seeing where wherever that goes, seeing where that goes, there has to there has to be open communication, and so. <sighs> that's 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 the next that's that's the next thing. Now I'm already energetically pushing towards that. I've already come out with a video. I came out with a video saying follow your heart, and basically what I said in the video was like just do just lead you where your heart leads you, and if you follow your heart, you can't go wrong. If you follow your mind, you're gonna have doubt. When it comes to her, I don't follow my mind. I follow my heart. My heart tells me that she truly wants to be with me. My heart tells me that. She wants me to continue to pursue her. Now, before in the winter time, I didn't do that. I, I I said I did a few things, and I just said, you know, whatever, man. Now it's just like, but I was listening to my mind. Now, now I'm listening to my heart. Now I'm saying, okay, this is gonna work. I I, I have no doubt in it. I have full belief, and I have 110 percent belief that we will be together. I'm following my heart and I'm pursuing this. Then on her end, it's greatly influenced her. My belief in us being together has gave has given her more belief in us being together, but there's still some doubt that it's keeping us from having open communication. And again, the source of that, like I was saying, the source of that is the family dynamic. But that's that's become very thin. That's far it's far thinner. The, the concept of, of, of what her family will think of her and all that stuff, that, that that's a far thinner, it, it's far thinner than it was before. And so, 
That's what it is. Is open communication. That's all. That's all. That's that's the that's the level that me and her are at now. Like today when I woke up this morning, I just realized that the only thing, the only thing, that the gang stalking program, or the family, has over anything is that me and her are openly communicating. And it's not the gang stalking program or the family keeping her from communicating with me. Now the gang stalking program has that advantage. They're using that to their advantage. I wouldn't even say the family is using it. I don't. I don't think the family. I think the family is just like you know. At this point, I know they have their say in it. But I think they're looking at her like she's twenty something. You know, she's twenty one, twenty two, you know, twenty one years old. So she can do what she wants to do now. And so at this point, again, it's it's back. It's back to. It's back to the doubt that she has. And it's my heart pushing love and compassion to her. She's been, she's been in her own way, she's been pushing it back to me. But now we have to, you know, we can't go off of YouTube videos and, and aura and, and energy and vibes. And stuff, but we have, to have, we have to be able to sit down and talk. And so that's, it's interesting to see, it's interesting to see how it manifests because my belief is that it's going to happen at some point. Will it happen today? It's possible. Will it happen tomorrow? It's possible. Will it happen the day after that? It's very possible. Will it ha how? It, it's the it's the it's the the manifestation is now based on the timeline. And I've been watching her for months. Drive around, have to go through the gang stuff. So drive, you know, she's. She, I've seen her drive around with like fifty different people doing the gang stalking, and none of them have been able to give her the permission slip she needs. For her to say, I don't want to be with Jamil. It doesn't matter. Come on, we can we we can gang stalk Jamil together and go around. She she's ne she she never done that, and she, I don't think she ever will do that. I don't think that's in her. She what she would have to do is she would have to find somebody who's a substitute, and the substitute that she finds. She still would never fully feel comfortable with them uh, around me, and it would be it'd be a situation where she's only doing it based on doubt. She's only she's only with this substitute because she has doubt in me and her being together. But that doubt in me and her being together is based on a fear that's coming within her, and so it's just you know what I mean. It's like it's like a revolving door. So it, it's pretty cool, though. It, it's interesting. And so that's, I mean, that's the manifestation that's coming out. It's open communication. It's just, it's, just a, it's just a countdown. That's all it is right now is a countdown.